There's a rise in loneliness among men today, why? Go to work, come home, watch TV, repeat. Weekends are spent working just to make it, or if you're lucky relaxing from brutal work weeks. Personally for me it's because I'm always working and then gym straight after work, I don't have the time to get emotionally involved anymore. The pandemic made the whole leave work at the office after 5pm a lot harder. I'm working all year round to only afford rent because there is no longer a thing called disposable income. The cost of living crisis here in the UK made basic dates such as coffee expensive. People don't spend time with other people like they used to. From an increase in time spent online, work from home, pandemic concerns, dwindling monetized public spaces, etc. we live a more insular life than we used to. I think, like many other species, humans are social creatures and we suffer mentally when there is a lack of genuine, in-person interaction. We live in a very isolated society. We wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to bed, repeat. Our lifestyles don't give us consistent time or places to meet new people with shared interests and build community. Most people can't afford it either. This leads to difficulty in finding a partner or making new friends outside of work. I can't speak for other men but from my and my friends' experiences, there's just too much else happening that takes people away from relationships, making a lot feel unready for a serious relationship. A lot of people are describing a phenomenon without knowing what to call it the loss of the third place. It's a location outside of the home and work where you can hang out recreationally. Usually it is somewhat egalitarian, with minimal expectations to spend money or keep up appearances. Basically a place to go to be social and to interact with your local community. Because the internet doesn't replace actually being touched by another human being. It is easy to pass off men as sex crazed, but the part that we don't say enough out loud is that we crave intimacy more than sex. The touch, the attention, the connection actually does mean more to us than the physical release. We can be in a relationship and still be really lonely without that intimacy. X200B. After HS and college it gets difficult to form friendships. I left my old HS friends cause they weren't good for me to be around. I go to an online college so not gonna meet anyone that way. I personally am not good with women so I gave up on dating. If you're not good socially or if society rejects you then there's not much you can do. I personally am okay with being alone for the most part but sometimes it hurts. Solitude is dangerous. It's very addictive. It becomes a habit after you realize how peaceful and calm it is. It's like you don't want to deal with people anymore because they drain your energy. Jim Carrey. This is pretty much where I'm at in life. Each and every single interaction even with family drains me. The thought of being around other people creates a sensation of dread. At this juncture in life, I only desire a quiet place with no sounds of humanity. Some place I can close my eyes and trust that my peace won't be interrupted by someone else. I think a bunch of us are just thinking. Watching. Trying to find a way out of the a hit show we are in. And not wanting to dump that shit on anyone else. Atomization of society. I've been lonely for 21 years, I'm used to it. Gestures broadly at everything. There's a rise in awareness about lonely men IMO. Before the internet most would just suffer alone in silence. Covid didn't fucking help, anyway. Not just for men, but I really do think the old cliché of social media has allowed us to have more friends, but no real connection. No one has the attention span to get to know anyone deeper anymore. A lot of friendships are a mile wide and an inch deep. There's just a general disconnection that leaves a lot of people actually lonely. I have to work 50 hours a week just to keep a roof over my head. Even if I wanted friends, I don't have the money to go do stuff. I go on hikes, I write, and I use the internet because that stuff is cheap. I'm not making friends those ways. If rent was legally capped at 500, I guarantee more people would be making an effort to live life and make friends. 
because we can't afford to do anything except be at work 50 hours a week making some other guy rich while I still can't afford a fucking one-bedroom apartment and eat at the same fucking time. There's a rise in loneliness among everyone today. We live in a very low-trust society and everyone is glued to social media and or spends most of their free time doing solitary activities. When you can get so much entertainment and instant gratification from the comfort of your own home, a lot of people see no point in even doing anything else. As an American that has spent time overseas in several places, I can say America as a country does not value community. They value hyper-individualization, me me me. Most Americans will not do things that don't directly benefit them and this has now turned into a very selfish very distant culture. Add lack of walkable communities due to car culture and bam, no one is actually interacting with each other. I am not even trying to find a girl anymore. Everything is so hard. I don't want to try anymore. Nobody would even want me. I don't want to waste time. Yes I am also lonely. Lack of social skills, women don't need the same things from men in a relationship as they used to, online dating has allowed women a lot more options than before, the average man's confidence is shit these days, and in general no one was able to prepare this generation of men for the real world. I'm sure there's more reasons but that's what came to mind right away. 3-4 of my money goes to rent, bills, utilities and food. As per the last woman who chatted me up called me a broke us n word. Also my hair is receding. Good times. Technology and the internet age is a big factor for sure. I saw statistics showing an even high rate in women. It is just society right now. With the combination of a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic and the increase in technology it has forced a lot of people into isolation b.c it is easy to be isolated now. It's not new, it's just now getting discussed. One thing I noticed when speaking to people about men's problems is that some people say yeah go through this and that etc. Whilst I fully understand women have their issues, when we talk about men's issues, we are by no means trying to start a gender war. It feels like there is an overwhelmingly negative view of men. I hear and read comments about how terrible or incompetent men are on an almost daily basis. It gets really discouraging, and makes me feel very unwanted. Like I make things worse just by being a guy. X200B. Edit typo. Because society in recent years does everything to destroy real contact between people. People must put off serious relationships due to financial reasons and pursuing careers or education to afford anything. Many men isolate themselves through video games and don't play outside as much as boys. They end up with a very small social circle and not really dateable. Lots of parents need to do better, and young men need to help themselves, because the hard truth is that nobody else is coming to help them. I'm going to partly blame social media, it's ironically made people less social than ever and if you're a man you go to work maybe play a sport but if you don't have a spouse that's usually about the end of your socialization. When the neighbor drives home with tinted glass, garage door goes up he drives in garage door down that is the end of that. Because we live in a sick society and are constantly villainized by various groups, including other men. Social media. I doubt it. I believe that men have always been lonely but only now are they allowed to talk about it. Women are terrifying. Modern women suck. Guys are dickheads, of course. But modern women are becoming more and more entitled by the years. I dunno. Maybe it's because a lot of us are unattractive and invisible to women, but I dunno. Could just be me. One guess I discussed with some friends is that women no longer have to settle. They can earn a living for themselves now, have better rights and opportunities. So they are becoming less dependent on men than they were previously for support. Allowing them freedom to choose. Today women have the freedom to be picky. Not saying this is the case for all women but, as a woman you don't have to choose between marrying a POS or being homeless as much anymore. And more power to them. Because dating sucks. <laughs>